Big actually, there's one thing's quite controversial. Is talking about WhatsApp that um WhatsApp apps want to change a privacy setting and then sharing information with Facebook, and actually it, it makes people to shift to using Signal. How many of you try Signal or Telegram last week? How or how many of you actually moving to moving to Signal or Telegram? Ah, uh, oh, so a lot. So maybe maybe I should actually consider to to make a signal group. Uh, no, no fans in signal. Uh, I, I always find that someone start using signal in in these few days. And even for a big guy, also suggest actually a big guy also suggests people to use signal. Do you know who is who he is? A big guy. Also suggest people. Oh, wow, very good. Wow, many students actually know a lot about the market. Yeah, right. So Elon Musk also suggest people to use Signal. And what happened after he tweet that people use Signal? Wow, Signal company rise a lot, and you can see that the price is on is very low, and then within a few days it increased a lot. So Elon Musk said use Signal. And confused investor sent the wrong stock up 438% on Monday. Um, usually when I read any news, usually I like to think about um, in a financial perspective, can I have some, can I capture some market opportunities? Just after I know about the news that people shifting to signal, I also looking for signal companies. And then I actually got one. Let me show you. Signal. Oh man, it signal advance, signal advance. So it's OTC. What what do we have? Oh, so here Tokyo means it's trade in Tokyo and Hong Kong is Hong Kong, Shenzhen is Shenzhen, and NYSE it means New York Stock Exchange. And this OTC it means over the counter market. You can build it at the secondary market in in US. And then look for this company, signal advance. Wow, let's take a look of its performance. So you can see that the price is, oh man, let me make it bigger. You can see the price is only 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and then 0 0.5, 0 0.6 for a long period of time. And then it dropped up to 38. So you invest something, at 0 0.6 and then you sell it, let's say you sell at 30. If that's just 0 0.6 and then it becomes 30, it means 50 times, wow, 50 times. If you invest 10K there, you already get, wow, five, 500K. It's crazy, right? Um, If, yes, it looks like a good story that people utilize information to trade, but then, right, it's not the same signal. This company have nothing to do with the signal. Then you can see that it search and then after people knowing about it, it dropped. Okay, so it seems that market sometimes is, could be quite irrational, but I want to say one thing. And then during this period of time, a lot of people already mentioned that this company is not the signal. So after you know that you should sell it, right? Every investor right now, uh, even though they may be blinded within these two days, but then they should know about this news that this company is not doing that signal. But how come the stock price is still 10 times above the original level? Originally it's 0 0.6, but now it's still above $7. How come? But I would say that even though in this class, I will, we always talk about different type of financial ratios and then fundamental analysis, something like that. But I would say that market is full of irrationalities. I have no, there are many people are still holding, right? But if you are rational enough, you should know that you should sell it right now because it's not the one that um doing signal. But we didn't see that the stock go down to the 0 0.6. It's still far above the original price. So it seems that some people are strong holding for reason unknown. Without reason, uh, I don't know. Um, this on the downside is bad, it seems that it's hard for us to predict the market because part market is not that rational at all. Um, it's not a science at all. 
So that's why a lot of scientists also make loss in the market. But on the bright side, I would say that it's very interesting. Yeah, maybe they just don't want to cut loss. Many people buy there. If you buy 30, you don't want to cut loss seven because you lost 90, 80, 80 something percent. And as what some student mentioned, actually this case also apply to Zoom. So we know that um, during last year, we start to use Zoom and then actually there are two companies listed on exchange. The one we call Zoom conferences, which actually providing the Zoom meeting, just like what we are using here. Another one called Zoom technologies are doing some online, online tutorial. So let's say if you can go back to February, 2020, which stock would you like to invest? You would like to invest in the real one that's making the Zoom video conferencing or investing in the fake one that doing, I don't know, other things else, it's, which called Zoom technologies. So let's take a look of what's happening in the stock market. Sometimes, I hope you remember, sometimes it's better to be lucky than smart. Um, here I'm going to show you the performance. So the, the, the light Brunei, it's a real Zoom, and you can see that it only increased by 132% within this three month. But then if you invest wrongly into a wrong stock, congratulations, almost 20 times return. Uh, I, I, can, I can imagine a case, those two friends, A and B, and A buy the Zoom conference, B buy the Zoom technologies, after B buy Zoom technologies and tells A, and A may mock the Zoom B, um, B that you buy wrong stock, you should buy the original stock. But then after three months, the guy that buy the wrong stock win. It's really, really ridiculous. Yeah, so better if I buy those, yeah. Um, one of my regrets is that actually everyone know that um, during the March, um, we start to use Zoom, but I'm, I didn't buy Zoom at that time. So it's actually one of my regrets that I made in 2020. We all know that Zoom is going to be very popular. Um, we'll keep using it, but um, I just missing out these good opportunities. Um, you can see that again, it's always better to be lucky than smart. It's always better to be lucky than smart. So someone just luck, uh, even though you do a lot of research and then you may earn 10 or 20% a year in the stock market, but then your friend may just lucky and may earn much more than you. But don't worry, in the long run, we expect that. In the long run, we expect that. Smarter expect should be the one that can stand at the last because like Warren Buffett. Um, but lucky, may sometimes they, someday they may lucky, but someday they may go into bad luck. Um, so let's take a look at what is the current performance of both stock. Um, Zoom technologies. So you can see when you type Zoom here, there are two uh, Zoom video conference and then Zoom technologies. And let's take a look of Zoom technologies. So what is its performance um, right now? Uh, see, uh, no, not this one. It's dramatically increased here and then all the way down to here. So it means that uh, market will become national again, but it takes a long, long time. It takes a long, long time. But then for Zoom, it's still much, it's still far above. For Zoom video conference, you can see that it's still far above the original level in last year. So that's why it takes time, but smarter should be the one who earn the most at the end.